78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. Check it out, man. So lately, there's been a lot of hoopla um, about Keyshawn Davis um, allegedly knocking out um, Junior Lopez, the father and trainer of Tia P Fimo Lopez, in the gym. And this has made he headlines. Headline news is taking the boxing world by storm. But this is a very old story, okay? Um, if you remember, um, we talked about this. Myself, Black Fight fan, talked about this on Trail Boxing Talk way back in the day. I can't remember uh, if uh, CeCe was on that episode or not. But we did it on Trail Boxing way back. And, um, you know, uh, we talked about it, the situation, because there was already some controversy surrounding Junior Lopez, Teofimo Lopez's father, saying the N-word, all right, around boxing circles, and a lot of people were uncomfortable about it, okay? Uh, he was saying the N-word in the corner. Uh, the national television, or well, ESPN picked, cameras picked it up when he was saying in the N-word to Teofimo Lopez, uh, on camera and referencing the other opponent. Andre Ward and others, Tim Bradley and them guys, they, they had already heard about what happened in the gym. and Everybody knows all this stuff, right? So, you know, everybody, they checked, they checked uh, Senior about that stuff behind the scenes. Allegedly, of course. You know, these are the things I heard back in those days. I heard that Andre Ward, Tim Bradley and them guys checked them about the use of that word behind the scenes. And this is why uh, Tiafimo Lopez Jr. keeps throwing sneak dissing at Black Fires. And, oh, ESPN can have the Black Fires. And, um, you know, the Blacks and this and the Black. He keeps saying this and it don't make sense to nobody because behind the scenes, he got a lot of animosity, right? He got he feel like people overreacted to him using the N-word or his father using the N-word, okay? So now let's talk about what allegedly happened in the gym that day. So allegedly what happened in the gym was that uh, – Keyshawn Davis was sparring Tiafimo Lopez, right? And Keyshawn was beating Tiafimo. Now, this is just according to what I heard, okay? Uh, it could be some exaggerations here, uh, uh, whatever. I'm just telling you what I heard. And I heard this years ago, right, before it ever hit the mainstream media. Uh, what I heard was Keyshawn was dogging Tiafimo Lopez in the, in the ring. His father uh, was, you know, telling you know, them, all right, that's enough, whatever. And Keyshawn didn't let up. Uh, he kept on whooping on Tia Fimo, right? And his father said, you know, jumped in the ring, broke it up and said, see, this is why, this is exactly why we don't we don't mess with you in words because this is how y'all act, right? This is what I heard. Don't know if it's true, wasn't there. And they said after that, um, the black people in the gym or a few black people in the gym, Keyshawn being one of them, commenced a whooping on uh, Senior. They whooped on Tiafimo Lopez Senior. And they say Tiafimo Lopez Jr., uh, the one we know, Tiafimo, no, not, not Junior, but Tiafimo Lopez, the one we know, um, he stood there. The son just stood, stood there and watched his father get whooped on. They say he didn't even help. His legs froze up. He was stiff, you know. And uh, Top Rank was trying to fire. They were trying to get uh, Tiafimo to fire his dad. Uh, Bob Aram did not like his dad. He just thought his dad was bringing too much drama and trouble around, and he kept trying to get him to replace him. Now, uh, Junior Lopez, the father of Tiafimo Lopez, he was uh, under a lot of scrutiny um, behind the scenes in boxing circles, but mainly for saying the N-word on television. A lot of people didn't know about what was happening behind the scenes about that gym incident, right? So I was contacted um, – by friends, let's just say friends of Junior Lopez, right? At the time, mutual friends at the time, right? I was contacted, and um, they wanted me to smooth things over. They wanted me to use my influence online to smooth things over for Junior. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, bring him on the channel, interview him, laugh and giggle, you know, cut a jig, basically. Chuck and jive with him and, and let everybody know, oh, it's all good. So he said, they cool with him. You know, and I understood what they were trying to do, but I wasn't. It wasn't worth uh, messing up my reputation. Uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying it's just that's the wrong type of clout. You know, what I'm saying uh, not something I was interested in. So, 
<clears throat> ever since then, they've been mad at me. They don't rock with me. They hate my guts. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's cool. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So these are some of the type of things that happen behind the scenes. A lot of people just think I'd be on here hating on people or talk crazy when you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know why I feel the way I feel about certain situations. There's a whole lot of other stuff that go on the boxing. It's a whole lot of stuff I know about Tia Fimo and his, his uh, baby mama. A whole bunch of stuff. I didn't hint that stuff a long time. I'm just telling you, you know, it's the reason why his family didn't like the girl. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. It ain't my business. I don't care. But I'm just telling y'all, uh, the story about Keyshawn is true. Uh, I heard about this story like, I don't know, five years ago. It was a long time ago I heard about this story. And um, it was, I think it was like two days after it happened. It might have been the day after. But I heard about it like a couple of days after it happened, I believe. And uh, we talked about it on Trail Boxing Talk. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, that's just the truth of the matter. So what Teofimo Lopez um, didn't help his father. Uh, that's what everybody who's in the gym said. He, he didn't help his father. And um, so I don't know how how the father can look at the son and still respect him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how the, the son can look at the father and, 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 and still pretend like he think he the goods. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Like, I, even if my daddy's wrong, we fighting. Ain't nobody just stealing on my pops, bro. Even if my pops was, was wrong and he shouldn't have said this and that and he shouldn't have said those words, at that moment, we all fight. You got to whip both folks. Ain't no way. But see, T.O. was intimidated by Keyshawn because Keyshawn had just dogged him in the ring, allegedly. And they say that, you know, when, when, when the sparring round was supposed to be over, Keyshawn didn't let up. He was just, you know, kept dogging and beating on T.O. Fimo. And, uh, and then that's when Junior Lopez said, oh, see, see, man, this is why we don't deal with you in words because this is how y'all be acting. Allegedly, that's what they say he said. And they got whooped for that. All right? Um, you know, that's just that's just, that's just the story that was out there. Now, Keyshawn is, is, has challenged Teofimo Lopez to a fight. Uh, Teofimo Lopez has been running around here acting like everybody ducking him. He's on some type of campaign to pretend like he's this duck man and nobody wants to fight him. But uh, Keyshawn Davis is saying he'll fight him, you know. He wants to fight him. And um, uh, Tia Fimo has not denied these rumors um, because they're true. He knows it. Just like he hasn't denied the stuff I, I was sneaking about his baby mama. He knows that that stuff is true. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's just the other people who don't know. Uh, but, uh, you know, Keyshawn, I think, is he ready for Tia Fimo Lopez? Hey, man, Keyshawn's very talented. You know what I mean? Um, I think he has a psychological edge over uh, Teofimo. Um, I thought Teofimo lost his last fight to Jermaine Ortiz. I thought Teofimo lost his fight against uh, Sandor Martin. Um, but, you know, I think that Keyshawn easily outboxes T.O. And I think that uh, his style is just all wrong for Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo does well um, against guys who uh, basically – are flat-footed and come forward. You know what I'm saying? He does He does well with those type of guys. You know what I'm saying? But um, I can't see him beating Keyshawn Davidson right now unless he lands something heavy because T.O. is heavy-handed. You know what I mean? So he, he, he never know. He can land something on him. But that's just my opinion on it. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Keyshawn Davis versus Tiafimo Lopez. Should Tiafimo Lopez fight Keyshawn? I think he should. You know what I mean? 78 Sports TV. I'm a potty hit though. Deuces.